Hi, this is Adam Taylor with the ITS Group. In the last video, we created a group policy for the Land School Tech Console. In this one, we're going to be creating a similar policy for safeguarding. So what we'll do is we'll use our existing policy as a template, so the settings carry over. And you just want to right click on it, click copy, and then highlight the group policy objects folder, right click, paste, keep the settings as they are. Done. Now we'll rename this the Land School Safeguarding Console. There we go, keep it separate. Once that's done, you want to right click and go to edit. And we're just going to move a few things around. So we'll go to computer configuration, policies, software settings, software installation. We're going to remove the Tech Console MSI. So that's all tasks remove. And we're going to right click on software installation and we're going to create a new package. Now that's out of the Tech Console folder and into the Windows folder where we use the teacher MSI. Accept. Done. Next thing we want to go to do is administrative templates. We're going to go to teacher 64 bit. We're just going to set a few things here. So the first thing I want to do is set up our dynamic class lists. Uh, the dynamic class list is the link to your MIS data. So this will be your student timetable, which teachers are teaching which students in which rooms at which times. And it helps Land School ensure that all the right mobile devices are being loaded into the, to the correct teacher interfaces at the appropriate times. So we'll just edit each of these in turn. You can double click on them. Uh, the first one is the dynamic class list interface. And we just want to make sure that's turned on. So we're essentially just enabling the feature for dynamic class lists. We're then going to go to find the CSV folder. Again, we'll enable. And this will be a network path. So we've got one called class lists. Here's one we made earlier. We've got our class list CSVs that we prepared earlier. So we just want to make sure that the class list folder is the one we're using for our path. So this should just be the folder that contains the CSVs and not the CSVs themselves. Copy that path. Done. And then the third one is the default type. So we have a few different versions of class list. We can either do it based off of the login name of the student, which is their username. We can also do it based off the machine name, or we can do it based off of the actual full AD name. Uh, the one we want to use here is the login name because the login name is the username in Windows and it's also the username in G Suite as well. Uh, if we use the machine name, then Land School is only gonna follow the machines, but it's not gonna follow the users as they move between rooms. So login name is the one to use there. Okay. The next one to change would be the one called installation options. So here we have a few different minor settings that can be changed. The main one for me will be 16. So that's Active Directory Secure Mode, making sure the user does pass a check to say you are actually a member of the correct group. And the other one is 512, which is the network tampering controls. And that just means if the Land School client is forcibly taken offline, Land School will actually lock the machine down. An example of that might be a student pulling the Ethernet cable out of the back of the PC so the teacher can't see them anymore. Or if it's a laptop, they might have a hard Wi-Fi switch on it, which, uh, which will disable Wi-Fi and drop them from the network. Now they may do that to escape the monitoring and escape all of our reports, uh, but what we'll actually do with Land School is lock the machine so that the mouse and keyboard are disabled until the network controller is reinitialized. So to enable that, we want to go to enable, and we just want to add these two values together. So it's 512 and 16, so it's 528. Put a value of 528 in the box. Apply, done. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, the last thing we'll do is just change some of the registry settings. So again, preferences, windows, registry, we've got our keys there from before. Uh, all of these values are gonna stay the same. We just need to change the 
file path so the key path won't be land school tech console anymore it'll just be land school and what you can do is just copy that once you've made the change wow 6432 node backslash land school copy that and just make that change on each of these keys There we go. Now there's one more change that we're going to make that's pretty unique to safeguarding. So we're going to create a new key. It's going to be the same path. It's going to be channel. It's going to be a D word value with a value of zero. So this will put the safeguarding console onto channel zero, which puts it on par with the tech console. This means they'll be able to see all of the students wherever they are in the school, regardless of whether or not they're in class or out of class, between classes. Um, it's not going to allow them to see any staff machines, but every single student will be tracked at all times. That's what channel zero is for. Let's sit there. We're also going to make one change on the GPO, and that's to allow them to change the channel as well. So we'll go to select channel select, enable, and we're going to turn that on. And that means that the safeguarding console will be able to see all of the students by default through the registry key. However, they'll also have the option of narrowing that down to a specific room or a specific building. We'll cover that a little bit more later. But giving them the option to adjust their scope dynamically just makes it easier for them to find things when they need them. Press OK. And that one is now done. Close to save. We'll now drag and drop the safeguarding console onto the safeguarding OU and accept. Done. In the next video, we'll look to modify that slightly to create a teacher policy. After that, we'll do the students and then we'll push them all out. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video for the teachers. Thank you.